innovation, I think the government should first be a little bit less bureaucratic, so to say, because the problem that we really face uh, with within the whole world is the regulatory basis for innovation. Uh, also, I think uh, we need to uh, reduce bureaucracy as well, uh, because there are a lot of uh, uh, involvement, uh, speed, uh, I mean, we have seen I mean, technology uh, uh, at dizzying speed, actually, really. And, and, and we need the uh, governments, regulators, really to uh, uh, catch up and, and uh, be accommodative in terms of responding to initiatives that are presented by financial institutions. Uh, I think there, there needs to be uh, clear objectives for governments that are set out uh, clearly in order to avoid slow response to adopting uh, new technologies. Uh, I think also there needs to be separation between responsibilities of the government, regulators, and the responsibilities of the financial institutions themselves. So we have to have a regulatory environment that goes quick, very quick, as uh, innovation goes fast. We have to have education that is ready to face the challenge of innovation. I mean, we have children, we were talking about this before, that are studying and are getting educated for jobs that probably in about 10, 15 years will not exist. About one of these three jobs will not exist, which does not mean that there will be less jobs, they will be different. So as a local government and as a country, we have to imagine what will be the jobs in 20 years and start now educating them for what will, be, what will happen in 20 years. Innovation can be a risk or an opportunity. Other initiatives that could be utilized in financial institutions, such as, for example, artificial intelligence, uh, the use of robotics, for example, these are really challenges. And uh, we have commissioned at uh, KFH uh, several studies for the use of robotics in branches and uh, back office functions where robotics really could replace uh, uh, humans. Mm -hmm.